Hey, 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 thanks for stopping by my channel today. I want to welcome you if this is your very first time and welcome back if you are returning. Yes, we are going to be creating some trays today using some wood frames, wood boards from the Dollar Tree. We have this um, one from the beach, Nautica coastal theme. I just picked up at the Dollar Tree and um, I love it. And we have these Christmas trees, these wood Christmas trees from the Christmas holiday season. And we are going to use these as well. We need to go ahead and get this little starfish out of the middle. And I'm going to take this paint scraper that you can get from the Dollar Tree and lift it up. And we're also going to remove the bead, strand of beads off of it. All right. So stick around to see how this DIY turns out. Keep on watching. Okay, y'all, so we got the legs for the tray on, and I think it's going to turn out super duper cute. Let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Isn't that cute? Tiny little tray that can be styled almost anywhere. Anywhere. I absolutely love it. Depending on how big your tear tray is, you can put this on your tear tray. Yep, you sure can. Okay, next up, we have this round wood sign from the Dollar Tree. And we are going to remove the tags, take the beads off, and we'll put the beads away for another DIY someday, okay? And we are going to definitely try to get the staples out of this one. I do believe, yes, they're gonna come up. And um, what we're going to do is, uh, yep, see? It came off pretty easy but what we're going to do is put some legs on this because we are creating some trays today to be able to style in any space y'all any space and i have the little wood cubes from the dollar tree and what we're doing is we are putting them on the back of the sign so that we will have some legs but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put two one on top of each other. You could use the tumbling blocks if you like to, if you want a little bit more height. But I didn't want it to be too, too tall, but definitely not flat. So a little note of support that there is some height. And um, yeah, that's it. That is it for this DIY. Yeah, so y'all tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about this cute little tray. Let me know in the comments.
Okay, so for our final DIY, we're going to be using this board from the Dollar Tree. Yes. All right. Listen, y'all, <clears throat> if you're new here, I usually say my easiest thing for last when I do DIYs. And, um, yeah, so this is going to be it for the DIYs. Okay. And I think it's the easiest. The other one probably was the easiest. The last one probably was really the easiest besides this one but nevertheless I chose to put this at the end of the video because it is definitely simple all of them are simple you cannot <laughs> you, you it's hard to judge because all of them are easy but nevertheless we're going to remove the beads and we're going to get the staples out of this sign as well and we are going to put some legs on her too okay <clears throat> now uh if this is your type of content and you have been watching this video from the beginning all the way up to this moment, go ahead and consider joining the family because on this channel, I create easy high-end DIYs using mostly Dollar Tree items. So if their items are going to be on a strict budget, but you are going to create something that looks high-end, okay? I am here to bring you that high-end inspiration on a budget, all right? We have these little four black wood beads from the Dollar Tree. And what we're going to do is let these be the legs on this tray. Okay. All right. So back to consider ring joining the family. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell as well. So you don't miss out when these videos are loaded up. I have so, so, so much in store for this channel. I have so much Mm -hmm. So, listen, you don't want to get that notification when these videos are loaded up. You don't want to have to say, I wonder when she's going to load up another video. Guess what? All you got to do is subscribe, baby, and hit that bell as well. Now, give me a big old thumbs up if you like what you have seen so far. If you like anything so far, give me a big old thumbs up. That helps my channel out. Leave me a comment. Tell me what it is that you do like, okay? So listen, y'all, I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today. I want to thank y'all for returning over and over. Thank you, ladies, that engage with me by commenting. I am so appreciative of you. You all don't know how much it means to me for you to interact with me. All right? So thanks again. I got two pieces of this nautical rope, and what we're going to do is we're going to put some handles on here. Okay? All right, y'all, listen, I thank y'all so much again. I am just excited and delighted to bring you all DIY inspiration here on the channel and everything else that I do. Make sure that you all are following me on all my social media outlets. You have Facebook, The Crafty Doll, Instagram, The Dot Crafty Doll. So I'm going to make sure, make sure you come over there and check me out as well. Now, y'all tell me what you think about this cute little tray with these little handles on here. I think it turned out super duper cute. Something easy to style in your space, y'all. Listen, I enjoy making all three of these today. Let me know in the comments what you think about each of them. Well, that is it for these cute little trays. I think they are so cute, so 
unique, just so everything to me, okay? Listen, let me know in the comments what you think, and let me know which one is your favorite. Would you recreate these? Did, you get, did, did this video give you any type of inspiration? Well, if so, let me know down in the comment section. Subscribe, hit the bell as well, and give your girl a big old thumbs up. All of these things help my channel out. I am trying to get to that 1K, y'all, and I need your help. So share the video with your family, your friends, those that love crafting. Go ahead and let them, let them know about the Crafty Dog. That's right, y'all. Here on I'll Me Dog. <clears throat> Listen, I'm going to catch y'all in my next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.